the investment in voter registration and turnout and organizing and voter protection has been massive. And I think that Georgia voters are excited to get back out to the polls for these two runoffs because we understand how high the stakes are. In a democracy, the people deserve to hear from candidates for office. Democracy only works when we have informed electorates, the opportunity to have open debate. And for Senator Perdue to refuse to debate his opponent, to refuse to answer questions in public suggests, first of all, that he feels entitled to the seat and that he shouldn't have to face scrutiny or criticism or account for his conduct or his votes. And I will infuse my leadership with a spirit of reconciliation and unity and outreach to people who may see the world differently because after four years of bitter division, this country needs to reunite. We need to focus on what makes us all Americans and only united can we overcome a challenge like this COVID-19 pandemic. The fact that the Biden transition team is being denied access to government briefings to intelligence briefings, to sit down with the nation's leading public health experts here in Georgia, for example, where we host the CDC, the premier epidemiological agency in the country, this puts lives at risk. And what Senator Perdue should be doing if he had the people's best interests at heart and not just his own is encouraging the president to recognize reality. So I think Senator Perdue wants the president to come down and campaign for him. And as a result, He's indulging the president's fit of denial about the election outcome. 